Hi, I'm Matt. I'm the operational manager here at Carson's UK. The Evolution S, um, compared to our historic fleet, has a much easier operating function. Um, it's user friendly with the colours and the lighting system it uses um, for the operator. It has a much better transfer system, so it's less aggressive on the packaging. And because of the feed system, it has a higher delivery and productivity through the line. It has a drag system, so it isn't creating it isn't creating a crunch as it's picking the pack up and going into the jaws. That's less aggressive on the packaging, which gives a much smoother transfer into the seal head, which in turn gives us a better seal integrity. All of my operators are currently using PA Historic Fleet, so they have a understanding and a familiarisation with the current software. The new machine, the Evolution that we brought in, is easily transferable, so the skills for my operators were easy to learn, but they had the added benefit of the lighting system, so for diagnosis of faults and a reduction in time that is created through fault finding. All of my operators happily have taken that system on and believe it is an upgrade from the current systems they're operating. So as with all new machines, we've been working alongside um, to optimise our performance internally um, with support, full support from PA. We've seen a 12 minute reduction in downtime um, per hour created through short stoppages and crashes that we were creating through our historic fleet. We've also gained another 40 packs 40 to 50 packs per minute above our optimum run rate. We, our historic fleet was operating at 90 packs a minute and we're consistently operating at 130 packs a minute on the new Evolution S. With that, we do believe we would get that to 150 to 160 packs a minute, but we're doing work behind the scenes to optimize the process and that is restricted by the packing process, not the machine. Because of that, it's creating um, an additional day in the week at the end of the run rate so we've got labour savings that come with that and performance savings and our performance has been optimised through the short stoppage reduction um, across our fleet slow and steady wins the race so as long as the machine is performing at four to five um, sequences every single minute the machine will operate above 100 packs a minute quite comfortably it has the opportunity to run at 160 packs a minute Consistently now we're operating 130 packs a minute on a daily basis and doing that with minimum downtime. So the performance that we are seeing back in is about 22% above our normal current fleet that we operate at the moment. The existing film changes and access points for the film change has been designed so it has easy access. You have clear visibility all around 360 degrees around the machine and you have access points from both sides. That allows a reduction from the film change from a five to six minutes to three minutes. Depending on the skews and the changeovers on the machine, there's massive gains to be had from that. But as an operator, it makes it a much easier uh, transfer for the packaging and for the operator to put the film on. So it's a less stressful process and it's a much easier to access. So it reduces health and safety and incidents with film. The Evolution S is now a high performing machine and for the six months we've operated, we've seen financial gains and labour and productivity gains. This, to me, is now a world leading machine and we operate seven comparable machines in the same operation and we're seeing the performance now on a daily basis. So for me, it's a world leading machine with world leading innovation.